But then when the sun comes up tomorrow, baby, we're cracking all the way down to the middle of the earth if we have to to get all that delicious gold. Hello, everybody, great stuff, We're back with more Gold Rush. So there was just an update, which I'm really happy about because this update came out, and then a week and a half from now, we're going to have the new DLC with a ton of new equipment to buy. So this update had some pretty significant changes. Real quick, if you look in the upper right hand corner of the screen, you're gonna see we have a freaking ton of gold right now. There's a reason for that. What they did was they uh, gave you the money and the gold back that you spent on the slots to put more stuff inside of your claim. Which, and a lot of you guys mentioned in the comments section, you were like, why in the world do you have to pay more money to put stuff on your claim? It's like having to rent parking spaces. I'm totally with you. It was really odd. And plus, the parking spaces got pretty freaking expensive. We are at like 500 grand for one of them. So, on top of that, it also mentioned, uh, if, if they, if you want, they would give you the gold that you had from your Season 1 back into Season 2. So, we got that as well. So, now we have a bunch more gold than we had before, which is nice because the other part of the update is we can now add a secondary duplex jig for even more gold making so now we've they've expanded the tier 3 wash plant again and we're gonna go ahead and do that so what we're gonna do is I think we're gonna go finish out this cleanup I want to get this all to 100 so we can see what we get again I'm not expecting too much because we've dug a lot of topsoil out but I want to get it going we're gonna see what we can get obviously we have a ton of gold right now we're gonna go back to the city we're gonna sell and smelt down our gold we're gonna buy the second Duke's jig, get it set up, then we'll have a fully outfitted tier 3 wash plant all ready for the upcoming DLC. And we should have enough money to buy a lot of the new DLC stuff too. Now the other thing for guys who are just getting started like buying all the items and stuff, it I, I haven't checked to see what the actual price is, but the developers mentioned that they decreased the price of the drill. And some folks were saying, like, it just seems like they're trying to charge you more money to increase the difficulty of the game. I don't think that there's a, like, the game isn't difficult, right? Like, the, the idea here is pretty simplistic. Buy gear, mine gold, make money, buy better gear. I think that the whole purpose of the game, like, games like this, like, a lot of the fun of it, is the ability to get more equipment and more items and things like that. Now, one of the things that I feel like I'd like to see, and I don't know, you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments section, because, like, I think that there's a lot of good suggestions that people can have for what to spend your money on. Obviously, more machines is always better. Like, to have bigger equipment and, like, cooler, cooler things that you could do with the machines. Like, the drill, the drill was amazing. I would spend money on that every day. That was a worthwhile addition to the game. That... That new Frankenstein machine, I mean all the Frankenstein machines look cool, but the one that allows you to mobile conveyor belt gold, that's incredible. I, I would pay money for that every day. But one of the things that I'd like to see is, like, maybe other quality of life things that you can do to upgrade your claim... Like, I don't know how, I don't know if you guys are big on, like, aesthetics and stuff like that. Like, just being able to clean up some of these machines and make them look a little less rusty or something. Like, outfit your truck a little bit better, or buy a better truck or something. Like, it's always good to have stuff like that that you can spend money on. Alright, I think we're almost done over here. Not really, 99%. Oh, for God's sakes. Hold on, let me, let me grab, like, one, li there, that's all we need. Like, one little tiny piece of dirt. Just so I can get it to 100. I want 100%. There, flop it on in there. That'll be 100%. We're good. All right, never mind. We're going to have to upgrade the wash plant now. I So, if you don't have the wash plant with the second duplex jig, it keeps giving me this warning that the wash plant is incomplete. I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> I can't stand it. So, what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and clean out what we got. We'll put the other duplex jig on, and then we're going to try and fill up the wash plant ASAP and then do another clean out. All right, now I'm not expecting that much from this, but we're going to go see what we can get over here. Oh, that's right. I, it's, as terrible as it is, I actually need to get another cord over here so I can have everything going at the same time. The way the splitter worked out, I didn't have enough water sources. There we go. Now, I'm not expecting a ton of money from this, but we'll see what we get over here. So, we're at 11,164. Again, I don't really think we went that deep. So, all right. 
right, got a hundred grams so far. It's not bad. Uh, all right. Two, yeah. Three, okay. And this is only a 76% bucket. All right, so we got, uh, what does it have, 11, well, like 300 or something, maybe 250. All right, let's go ahead and put that back over there. Now let's go, now we have to do all these different mats and stuff like that, man. We gotta clear out all these mats and everything. I want everything to start at zero, that's kinda why I'm doing this. Oh, new update, you can fill the buckets with the garden hose. Oh, oh, I'm so happy about that. It's so much better than having to bring the bucket all the way over to the water source just so I could take the moss mats out and clean them up. Wow, I'm really impressed at how much those moss mats picked up. That's not bad at all. Oh, and you get warnings now if you don't have the grill on, which is nice. Holy crap, wow. Yeah, the, mo the moss is working fantastically. Like, I'm very impressed. All right, I just got done cleaning up the final bits of gold over here. So that was a full, well, not a full, remember, because we, uh, we don't have, we didn't, we didn't get to 100. I, I need to put the next duplex in over here. But that was a clean out from about 30 to 50%. You guys are going to have to look at the numbers and see how much we ended up getting. I think we got right around 2,000 grams or so. So it wasn't bad. I fi but remember, again, we're going to lose a lot because of the top. We need to get down lower. And I think once we get to 100, we should probably see our biggest payout that we've ever had yet. All right, let's turn all this crap off and start heading over to town so we can sell and pick up the new duplex. All right, here it is, man. One of the biggest meltings I've ever done. 13,000 grams. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that cost. We're losing almost 1,200 uh, 1200 grams of gold. Mother of God. Whatever. It's well worth it. Throw it in there. There we have it. My freaking truck's rolling away because I decided not to put the parking brake on. Our gold bar barely hanging in the back. My freaking tailgate is flip-flopping all over the place, too. I don't know what's going on, man. It is like, it is hating life right now. It's glitching all over the place. Over to the bank. Let's go ahead and sell this stuff. And then we need to pick up all the different items that we're going to need for the second duplex jig. We're going to need another hog pan, actually. Because remember, the hog pan extension is something new to all the jigs. Let's go over here. Uh, sell gold bars. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we've got a little bit of money to play around with. That's what I'm talking about. Someone was like, buy the parcel. The parcels cost a huge amount of money right now. 2.4 million in order to buy this parcel. So, and remember, we rented it for the 800,000. I could barely afford that. So, the 2.4 million, one day. We're, it's going to be a little bit. How's stock looking right now? Gold is up, baby. Gold is up. That's what I'm talking about. We still have our giant ass loan. Of 2.4 million dollars, which is interesting because I, isn't that like almost the price? Yeah, 2.4 million for Nighthawk Valley, but we wouldn't have been able to afford any of the actual equipment. Time to go shopping, boys. Time to go shopping. All right, I want a couple more buckets. In fact, I want like four more buckets. Got wave table jets. That's interesting. Was that always there? Every once in a while, man, with this freaking game. Like, you never know. I almost feel like, uh, I almost feel like sometimes new stuff gets added. I don't even know that it happened. We should have enough power cables for everything. I've got so many power cables and everything that I bought. They're all over the freaking place. Uh, over here, we're going to need a bunch of more miners' mosses. So we're going to grab all those. Oh, I don't have enough space. A. That's all right. I'll buy more space in just a second. Well, not buy, but I'll get everything moved so we can move stuff into the, the truck. As usual, I didn't bring the trailer because who needs it? We're going to do everything the hard way by trying to pack it into our little bed. All right. Gray, the Lord of Safety, has everything all prepared over here. Got hoses laying all over the place and stuff like that. Now, if you put stuff on the roof, will it fly off or does it lock down like everything else? Look at how there's a hog pan just sitting on the tailgate. Oh, I think it locks down. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Oh, Lord. This game, it's, it's glorious. This is, this is real life right here. This is what I always wanted. Over into the mining store. Now, we have a sluice box sitting on the ground over by our claim. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's this one over here. Uh, another duplex jig sluice box. So, I don't think we need to buy a second one. Uh, so, I guess all we need is just another duplex jig. Where, where, my, where my duplex? Oh, there it is. 
going to say, where are my duplex jigs at? Let's go ahead and grab another one of these. Another $34,000 down to freaking tubes. That's all right, though. Oh, all this new stuff. Oh, yeah. And that's our... Yeah, that's the shaker. That's going to be great. Glacier... 203000 bucks for that crap. Oh, how much is the new... um? The drill, now that it's been reduced, or supposedly been reduced. Let's go check it out over here real quick, just so that we can find out. What was it at before? Like 200? Now it's like 146,000? Okay, that seems seems appropriate. I, I, would, I would buy it, I would take it. All right, everything's moved over, I think. So that should be it. We should be able to go over now and have everything completely set up with the new double duplex jig, double hog pan, Full freaking fleshed out big money tier three setup. We're talking about dollars rolling in all day long. That's what we're gonna be doing. And then it's gonna be kind of late by the time we get everything done. We may sleep for the night, but then when the sun comes up tomorrow, baby, we're cracking all the way down to the middle of the earth if we have to to get all that delicious gold. Alrighty, new duplex jig. Come with me if you want to live. All of my, uh, all of my my connectors are sitting over by the setup, and I'm too lazy to bring them over one at a time. So we're just going to drive the duplex jig over to the conveyor area just like crap. I think I just got stuck. Come on, baby. Don't you do this to me. Get in there. Get oh, Really? This is what we're doing now, game? Really? Come on, man. It looked like we could have freaking done it. Oh, Jesus. All right. Hold on. Oh, this is new and exciting. I don't think I've ever done this before. Oh, never mind. Fell off. Oh, that would have been so cool. I had gotten the, the back part of the uh, of the excavator bucket stuck through the, the weirdest little angle of the duplex jig. All right, we'll go the long way, though. We're going to go around this way. It'll be fine. That, uh, I was completely not trying to do that. But it's interesting that it does work. Like, if you wanted to and you could get your bucket wrapped inside of the, you know, the various little rods and uh and supports over there that you could move it like that if you wanted to all right you boys know what it's time for time to slide it right in right in there it is right there baby all right now we just need our last sluice box and we'll be freaking good to go all right boys what do you think you think we get it first try Man, i got a lot of crap in the way that's the only problem like all of my different uh all of my di oh see that i was gonna say all of my different generators and water pumps and everything like that are all in the way. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the ass, but I think we are I think we can still do it. There we go. All right. Final sluice box is in. That's going to be that portion all set up. Uh, we got to take all the cords off of our bucket over here. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Grab this. Remove all these. Uh, if I never have to freaking reattach something to my tier... Again, I'll be so happy, but I know there's going to constantly be more things that I'm going to have to read. I, honestly, I'm pretty happy getting new equipment. It's just this portion that I kind of hate. Some people may see this as an opportunity to test out your freaking Tetris foo, but I'm not a big fan. Oh, can I get it? Can I get it and jump at the same time? Yes! I'm not a big fan of it. I'd rather just be digging for the gold. Putting all these miners moss on. Got to put all the grates on. There's actually so much setup. I think what I'm going to do... Is I'm gonna- Whoa, I almost fell. Uh, oh, I did fall. I'm stuck. No! I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere! Not again! There's nothing I can do. I'm gonna have to reset myself. I'm gonna get all this stuff set up, put on the grates, put the new hog paint on, and then when everything's done, I'll see you guys in the morning, and we'll start doing more of the actual gold mining. All right, it's a brand new day. I've got pretty much everything going over here. We have the double pump going on. We have the double extension with the double jigs. Now, the pumps over here... I had to get an extra pump because I can't have a splitter for one of them because the, the large uh, output has to go to one of the pieces of machinery. There's nothing I can do about that. Real quick though, our miner's moss is almost at 100%. Let's go ahead and do that. I put a couple of a couple of truckloads in here. We are getting deep gold right now, I feel. Deep gold because the miner's moss filled up ridiculously fast. Then I emptied these out a little while ago. So, let's go check this out, and then we're going to see if we can get 100% in everything. I think everything is powered and working over here. Uh, yeah, magnetite's working, wave table's working, everything looks like it's working. I got some buckets over here, some extra buckets. Let's go ahead and put these down. As a matter of fact, what I'll do 
is... Let me see if I have enough buckets. I'd like to do this all at once. All right, I got three extra buckets over here. I think we're actually going to need more than that. Uh, but, oh well. Let's go ahead and fill them up real quick. We got to put water inside all these so that we can shuffle the miner's moss out. Now, each bucket can only sift through... Uh, I think it's two miner's mosses, maybe? And two of the hog pan things? So let's go ahead and put that over there. Coil it up a little bit. There we go. Plug it back in over it. there. All right, we got all that set up. Go ahead and grab the miner's moss. I'm going to say that it's washing away, but don't worry about it. It'll, it'll be fine. So let's go ahead and take these grates off. Here we go. It does not wash off very fast at all. I don't even know how long it might take. Grab one of these. Throw it down over there. Another one. Throw it down. This is kind of... That's a little faster way to do this, rather than me jump running up this ladder a hundred billion times. All right, got all our miners' mosses. Plus, it's they're not sitting up there taking forever, or they're not sitting up there getting washed away while I dink around down here trying to get all this stuff done. All right, that's two. I think you can only can you do three? I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Oh, you can do three. Oh, maybe it was four. Maybe it's four that you can do. That may be it. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh yeah, there you go. Thick. Strong gold. That should be it. Um, yeah, okay, can't do any more. So let's go ahead over here. You need clean water to rinse the miner's moss. Yes, but now our water is filled with money and power. Ah, crap. Filled with money and power. Get in there. Get all, get all abrasively <laughs> abraced. So now we got that going. I'm going to put all these back on, and then we're going to go through the next miner's moss chunks. Pitching them like field goals, baby. Right over there. That's the strike zone we're going into like thousand dollar strikes over here that oh, 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 where you go where you going there buddy that's big money i can't allow you to just wander around like that okay do we have all the miners moss yeah all the miners moss has gotten jump on down here clean it oh crap i don't remember which bucket i still have to clean stuff out and i think this one hasn't been cleaned yet so let's go ahead and put everything in there all right man three full buckets now i don't know i can't remember if these need to be magnetited or not when they come out of the miner's moss. I mean, it's not a big deal. We can do it regardless, but... All right, let's go check this out over here. Is everything powered on? Everything should be on. Should be no big deal. Looks like it's running. All right, bucket number one. Here we go. What do you got? Yeah, okay, so no no magnetite in these. There's no reason to do it. So we'll just kind of let it flow through over here, grab the bucket, put it through the wave table. We're at 172. This should be, what, 90%? Oh, is it going to be 100%? 100%. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, baby. All right, 175 about. Here we go. Number one. There she goes. Now, I don't know what happens if you put the next bucket in before it's done registering all of the gold. Does anything good happen or not? It doesn't really look like there's that much gold right now. I'm not really, not really seeing very much at the moment. 175 to what, 296? I don't know. That's pretty underwhelming, actually. So, I think the idea is, is if we start filling the buckets full... We should be getting more gold. I think I feel like we got more gold from the hog pans, but maybe the concentration of gold that gets to the hog pans is better. We're digging pretty deep into the earth right now, so you'd figure we'd be getting a higher concentration. All right, let's go. Let's get back out there, start filling up the buckets big time, and then see what we can get when we get some of the buckets filled up. All right, boys. It's go time. We're digging pretty deep actually. Uh I think, what was it, the highest concentration that we had, I think it was uh, like 200 grams per meter cubed, was at, was it like 7 meters or so? I don't know how far down we are right now. Um, that was a terrible scoop. I don't know how far down we are right now. I, I don't know if we're down like 7 meters. Actually, we probably are. Uh, because that's like, you know, 20 some odd feet. We're, we're pretty good right now. We're down a good clip. I am... I'm going to start getting to the point where the bucket over here probably won't be able to extend down any further. I noticed that it gets to the point where you just, no matter what you do, you can't get an angle on it. Right now, my angle is kind of crap. So what I'm going to have to do, and it makes me sad too because I had such an easy setup. I'm going to have to start using the secondary arm. So I'll have to start like going out like this, but then kind of coming in like this. And that will allow me to get a nice full bucket. All right, let's power on back over here. See what we're getting per scoop. Got a 100% bucket. Should get, I think it's like 74% full or 76% full. What I like is that the uh, 
the freaking dump truck doesn't get ejaculated all over the place. Remember how before we used to dump our bed over here and the freaking dump truck would go flip flopping all over the place? Let's go, uh, let's go on the catwalk and see how the numbers are looking. 2%, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, the buckets are filling up. The miner's moss is filling up. Everything's looking freaking sweet. 10%, 11%. Yeah, probably, I don't know, man. Probably like five or maybe six of these bucket loads. And that will, I would assume, fill us up to 100%. And we'll get the opportunity to see what 100% full clean out with the complete extensions is. And I'm hoping for big numbers. All right, coming on in with dump truck number three, I think, right now. And we'll see what kind of numbers we're at. They're looking pretty good, man. They are looking pretty freaking good. I don't even turn around anymore. Nowadays, I just drive straight forward and straight back. And it works pretty good, too. Oh, yeah. Get up in there, baby. All right, let's check this out over here. Now, I think we're far past 25% right now. Back over to the wooden catwalk. Oh, wow. 46% inside of our buckets? And 32, 34% inside of our miner's moss and stuff like that. 40% down there. So the buckets are actually filling up the quickest. The hog pans are filling up second quickest. And then the, uh, the miner's moss is filling up the slowest. All right, boys, this is it. It's going to be big money time. Now, it's not going to be a full clean out because obviously I don't want to waste the gold. So we're going to clean it out as it happens. We should be getting 100% over here. No big deal. We're at 98, 99, there's our 100. So now I'm curious, if these aren't catching the gold, if the hog pans fill up quicker, you know what I mean? Notice how they're going to 85. Meanwhile, these buckets are already full. Now, if you're really quick, I guess you could like jack the buckets out of there real fast and then throw new buckets in so you don't miss anything. But I think, are we almost done over here? We're at 88 right now. I still see rocks flying in over there, but I think that we're pretty much done. Yeah, we're settled at 88, and then 81 to 83% across the board up top. All right, 100%, four jig buckets right now. Magnetite prepared, wave table prepared. We're at about 400 grams, getting late at night over here, so let's get this freaking done. We're going to jump over here first and do it. Man, I have to get down low. Ugh, got to get down. There we go. All right, little John, be proud. All right, over here into the magnetite separator. Does it need magnetite separation? Eh, barely. You can see we're getting like a couple of percents. It's really not that big though. Now, will this be a 100% bucket or will it be a 90% bucket? I have a feeling it's gonna be a 100% bucket. 94% bucket, that's odd. What an odd number, 94%. Okay, whatever. Big money time, boys. 400 grams, freaking do it. Do it. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. I'm not feeling anything yet. I'm not fe I'm not feeling impressed right now. 422. 422. That's nowhere near where we should be doing. Come on, man. All right, we got another one going in over here. The old one stopped at about 480. What were we at? Like 422? And now we're at like 480? All right, 630. And here we go with the last one into the wave table. I don't know. How do you guys feel about this so far? Like... We were getting thousands before. Well, let's let's fill up one more time. That should fill up all the hog pans and the miner's moss. And then we can clean those out and see what we get from it. I may even... Eh, well, we should have enough time to do it before it gets too dark. 7.04 or so. That's what we're at right now. So what do we get? Like, not quite 400 grams? Yeah, not, not even quite 400 grams. I just looked as well at the gold map. It's 10 meters down when we start getting the heavy gold. 10 meters. So it is possible that we have quite a bit of ways to go before we start hitting the real good stuff. We've got to be getting down there, though. I mean, we're getting... I feel like I feel like our, our depth is, is getting pretty decent. All right. We're at 100% right now on the hog pans. Let's go ahead and grab all these buckets of water over here. What we're going to do is we'll get several buckets prepared. Hold on now. We're going to fill it up with water. This is so we can do them all in one shot. It is dark. Real dark. I don't think I don't think you can grip stuff while it's dark. I don't Yeah, see, it's weird. You can't I can't select the uh, the flashlight unfortunately 
while it's the pitch of night like right now. I know some folks were like, oh great, just use the flashlight. We'll be able to see a little bit easier at night. Now, I'm gonna have to buy the lights. The uh the actual giant freaking explode your eyes lights that you can get. Alright. We got two buckets of gold over here. Let's throw them into the wave table and see what we get. 727, I think it was about. Ah, moving okay. 752, 759, 760 some odd, 75. So, after most of the clean out that we've done, now we still have to do the miner's moss, but after most of the clean out that we've done, we've got what, maybe like 500 grams today or something like that? Hold on, let's go ahead and put this one in here too. That was 840 it ended up at. This one over here, it almost feels like this one's moving a little bit faster. Also, I'm trying to I'm trying to remember, I think at midnight, we get a chunk of our gold taken from us for, to pay for the uh, to pay for the actual rental of the parcel that we're on. All right, everything's done. 952. Let's shut it down. Get the miner's moss all filled up, and then we'll finish cleaning that up in the morning. All right. Miner's moss is all cleaned out. Let's see what we get. Now, we had to go through the night and pay our uh, pay our fees and everything, so we're down a bit now. Man, I feel like the miner's moss is getting a lot more gold than we were getting before. Holy crap. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Here we go, boys. Now the gold's starting to roll. Now the gold is starting to roll. Oh, yeah. I got two more buckets of this crap. This is awesome. All right, here we go. One more time. From 1059. Keep it going, baby. Come on. Keep that. Keep that gold running. Keep those grams rolling in. Come on. I want to see at least 500 grams. I want to see at least 500 total grams. That's what I'm shooting for right now. And I'm pretty sure we got it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we're doing good. Can we get... 800. Can we get 800 grams? Actually, we're doing really good right now. We may be able to get a thousand grams from the miner's moss. I think we finally hit the real pay dirt at the bottom of that hole that we're in right now. There we go. Yeah, baby. Get past 1700. Come on, do it for Gray. Do it for Gray. You know you want to. Come on, 1625, 1649. Come on. And yeah, there we go. All right, man. That is a thousand. Wow, we are past thousand grams, actually. 1,000 grams from just the miner's mosses. I'm going to have to put all these back. That'll take me a little bit. But anyway, we got a full clean out from the extensions to the buckets to the miner's moss. Did okay. I think that the real big money is coming up now. And then remember, about a week and a half from now, we're going to have the DLC with like, I don't even know how many, like half a dozen new machines, including the Frankenstein. Really looking forward to that. Guys, hope you're enjoying Gold Rush. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.